Hey guys, it's your girl Taya back here with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to do my perm rods. Jumping right into the video, I've already sectioned my hair into quadrants. Now I'm going to be adding my Elaine hair and body leave-in. Starting with the first quadrant, I'm going to be adding some water and that's just to get a little extra moisture. My hair was looking a little dry. You want to make sure that you saturate your hair well just so it's nice and moisturized. Now going in with the leave-in, I'm just going to be spraying that in the entire section and then you guys will see I'll go through and just kind of add some more just to make sure that my hair is nice and moisturize since we are going to be wearing this style for about a week or a few days I want to make sure that my hair is nice and moisturized now I'm going to split this quadrant into two and this just allows me to detangle it a little bit better so I'm going in with my tangle teaser and just making sure that I detangle each section before I go in and twist and the reason why I'm twisting my hair up, you guys, is just because it helps me stay nice and organized. And I kind of know once I've twisted it up that I've worked on this section and then I can go ahead and move on. So now that I'm done twisting, I'm just showing you guys how juicy it looks. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and continue doing the same thing all over my head until I get to the last twist in the back quadrant. So now that both of those twists are done, I just wanted to show you guys a quick comparison. And here we go, all the twists are done. I'm gonna go ahead and just section that up just putting those in some clips, getting them out of my way, and then we can go ahead and start the styling process. My styler of choice today is going to be the Myel Organics Coiling Custard. You guys know I love this stuff. I rave about it all the time. The consistency is like not sticky, but just a little loose and runny. So it has great hold, but it's really lightweight, so your hair will dry easily. Now, normally for this type of process, I would recommend a mousse. However, just trying to stick with the black theme that I had going on today. Comment down below if you have a great product recommendation of some um, black old mousses. I heard of the Nairobi one. I've definitely wanted to try it, but I don't know if it's black owned. So yeah, leave some comments down in the, um, or leave some recommendations down in the comment bar. So starting from the bottom, I like to start two thirds of the way up and this just helps me smooth my ends. Now if you have like end papers, you can use that, but I find that this method works just as well. So once I'm done, I'm just gonna twirl my hair up and don't worry, I'll go over this again for the beginners or you newbies that, you know, wanna try to do this style on your own hair. I'm just showing you how it looks in the front and make sure you lay your hair in whatever direction you want it to be so that's why I laid my hair forward because I want to have like bangs so here I'm just combing my hair out making sure it's nice and smooth and this is how you get the um, curls to look nice and bouncy just making sure your ends are smooth the goal is to not show your curl pattern through the perm rod you want it to be as straight as possible so now you're just going to wind all the way up and then twirl you want to curl up and then you want to twirl and once you get to the top you want to take that um, hook and just stick it into the hole at the top of the perm rod and it just locks it in place as you guys can see here so because I'm sure many of you huns are probably visual learners like me, I'm gonna go ahead and just stop talking and I'll let you guys watch and hopefully you get the hang of it. And 
And now that I'm done with my last perm rod, I just wanted to quickly show you all how it's looking so far. I don't know how many perm rods I had, but <laughs> here we are the next day and I'm just adding a little bit of jojoba oil to my hands. This is just gonna help me take down my perm rods and try my hardest to eliminate frizz. So you wanna make sure you coat your hair with some sort of oil before you start taking your hair down. Now that curl was looking good y'all, like if I have to say so myself. Um, it's just a simple process when you're taking them down. All you wanna do is just kinda unwind the perm rod in the opposite direction in which you put them in. I'm pretty sure many of you guys know that, but just in case somebody did not know, I wanted to go ahead and point that out. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish taking down all my perm rods. You guys can kind of watch me. And then once I'm done, I will go ahead and start the separation process. about you huns but I just love the process of taking my perm rods out or any type of like flexi rod I just love the spiral that it makes and I just really enjoy seeing all the work that I put in come to fruition so it's just a relaxing process just seeing that spiral coming through yes all right so now um, I'm gonna add oil to my scalp and I'm just gonna go ahead and massage that in and this is just to kind of help with um, just adding a little, just sealing in a little bit of that moisture and just making sure that my hair is not itchy throughout the um, week since this is a dry style. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and start separating. Now, this is the part where you kind of want to be really careful. This is kind of like the make or break of it because if you're not careful, then you can cause frizz. And I'm not really good at this. I'm just going to be honest. I get impatient. I be trying to rush the process, but please don't be like me. Take your time, separate, and you will definitely enjoy your curls a lot longer. They will last. So as you guys can see, I did a great job at the very beginning, but throughout the... Um, process some of my hair just got frizzy but I also think that I just have different textures and sometimes it just happens so if your hair does get frizzy throughout this process don't be um, discouraged it may just be your hair texture um, and it I think a little frizz is good honestly in this style because it makes for fullness but that is just me <laughs> back to what I'm doing I'm just separating my hair where it naturally wants to part as you ladies can see and once I get to um, that very last curl where I think it's nice and separated, I have to go in with my pick because right now my hair is just looking a little too flat for my liking. If you want, you can stop at this process, but if you like big hair like me, then you are going to want to get that pick girl and pick that thing out. Of course, do not go through your ends. You just want to simply pick at the roots just for a little bit of volume if you go through um, your entire hair with the comb then of course you will comb your curls out and you do not want to do that so make sure you just stick to the roots and just pick it out a little bit of course once the days go on your hair will get bigger as time um, you know with time so I think I wanted to um, switch it up I didn't want a part so I'm just kind of messing with the front just styling it the way I want and here we are with the final result hope you all enjoyed this video it was great making it for you guys I had a really good time I'll talk to you all next one and you know what to do stay blessed <laughs>